Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to walk you through uh, the Agile Leadership Training offerings from the Scrum Alliance, tell you just a little bit about them, kind of compare and contrast, and give you enough idea of who should be in those classes, whether you're sending people publicly or you're having us come in and do it privately. Uh, what are those options based on you know what we've seen in the classes, the feedback we're getting from the people in the classes, and in the companies where we're coaching and helping them in their agile transformations, where do we see that really um, applicable for them? So let's make this uh, a quick overview. As I said, if you want to dive into each one of these, we'll have additional videos on this. This is mainly just to give you a very quick overview and empower you to make some decisions on this. So let's talk about the, the core piece of uh, the foundation of all these, which is the Certified Agile Leadership Essentials. Or what we call Cal E. So in the Cal E, what you have is a few pieces that are really helpful on this, and that is number one, uh, having an agile mindset. What does it look like to show up differently? Now, this doesn't just senior leadership and management. It's anyone in a leadership position. It could be scrum master, product owner, chief product owner, project managers, even on people on the teams who show leadership, certainly team leads, etc., who have like some kind of positional leadership. But anyone can kind of show up as a leader. And that's one of the takeaways from at the current companies where we're helping. It's like, wow, this is helpful to anyone uh, who just needs a different mindset when we show up. We don't have all the answers. And that's part of why I put underneath that is not having to be the expert with all those answers. Like, I'm in this role because I have all the answers, more that I'm in this role to help people make the best decision we can. How do we tap into that? And some of us have these challenging situations where it's like a culture of, um, you know, just tell me, um, I don't want to have to figure it out. So I think some of this, how do we tap into people uh, to bring out their very best for that? So that's some of what we're trying to do with the um, expert. I put that R on there, there we go. So that's agile mindset a bit. Also just core leadership development also. So when I say leadership development, how do we show up differently if we're not going to be the expert? How do we have um, difficult conversations? How do we give and receive uh, feedback? Because we're reliant on these in an agile space. This is one of the big shifts that we're experiencing is we don't have all the answers. Uh, technologies move faster than we can step on top of. How do we tap into the wisdom of the team, wisdom of crowds, empower them to make those decisions? So also, you know, they have more ownership of that. But, but we might have experience as well, but we don't want to be dictatorial and tell them and we don't want to micromanage, but we want them to make the best decisions they can. So the agile uh, leadership essentials is kind of like that mindset shift of trying to figure those things out and show up differently. Um, how do we ask those questions? How do we get feedback, et cetera? So that's a bit on the Cal E. Let's zoom out a little bit on one of the newer offerings called the Cal Teams or Cal T as we call it. So Cal T, this, is, this one's all about growing and empowering your your team members so we look at the people have said this how do i empower my teams uh, how do i empower how do i get high performing teams and individuals and that's really what cal teams is about is giving you um, some tools and ideas to do just that so i mentioned earlier about um how do we help people, for example, to solve their own problems, right? Uh, give them right tools, give them the right ability to do their best on that, but we want them to have that ownership. They'll have more ownership of the problems that they solve themselves, but we can help them make better decisions around some of that. Um, as I mentioned before, what about if we have um, quiet team members uh, or just, you know, just tell me type teams, uh, really what we're looking at is um, creating environments where they will speak out, creating environments where they'll they'll voice their disagreement with with you or with other uh, people on their teams if they think it's not the best decision. So how do we work together as a team? There's some great studies and science out there that we really want to look at. But also, practically speaking, um, nuts and bolts a lot of time for the teams is what tools should we use? You know, hey, we're trying to go agile, but what, you know, should we do this or that? And really what we walk through with the Cal teams is, uh, basic things like, hey, we've got to hit that deadline, or hey, they're adding scope, or hey, um, you know, we don't, we never solved this problem before. Or, how do we, how do we share learning? How do we avoid having knowledge silos? How do we want, you know, raise the, the level for everybody here? Cal T is a lot about that on the teams level, on the individuals who are on those teams level. And let's pop over to, um, there we go. Pop over to the last part, which is part of the original core of. Cal, which is Cal O. So Cal O is really uh, about 
you know, number one, leading change. So if you're going to go agile, what does that look like? Um, we can we can borrow someone else's script and just run it and copy someone else's approach and run it. But there's really there's one size fit all. Calo is about equipping those folks who are part of the transformational change, either leading it or supporting that group or on the you know the team, the agile leadership team, trying to roll this out, um, giving them the, the tools around that. And the, the core pieces for for Cal O are really about uh, culture. What's a good fit for your culture? Uh, in terms of what does agility look like um, for your organization? Who are you now as a culture and where do you need to go? Who do you need to become uh, in that culture? But also balancing this with what are the, the business goals? If we're not working in conjunction and partnership and alignment with the business and their goals, and, and specifically what they think Agile is going to give them, that lack of alignment will surface and cause some problems down the road. So you can kind of see that there's some relationships between these. If I was just to kind of um, highlight it, the Cal O and uh, Cal T are commonly done uh, together. So people on the teams help their leadership growth, help them as leaders, you know. And then also um, the early version of Cal had Cal O and Cal E packaged together. So helping management and leaders. Uh, with that change, giving them the tools they need to stop being the smartest person in the room, partner better. But really what we're seeing a bit also that I would add to this is this idea that um, anyone would benefit from growing as a leader. So let's look, you know, specifically, let's look at your certified scrum masters, the scrum masters in your organization. We talk a lot about, you know, servant leadership. What does that look like? Well, certainly in Cali, we're going to talk about leadership that's not dictatorial, that's not command control. That's a great fit for your, your scrum masters. Product owners, this comes up a lot. People coming out of the CSPO class, your product owners, that is definitely leadership because they're leading the product, but also the, the primary interface with the business. So when it comes to these crucial things that the teams bring up, like ah, it's still they're still giving us a date we got to hit. Uh, it's not realistic. The scopes you know keeps changing on us. A lot of those pressures are coming from the business side. Are actually coming through the product owner. So how do we help the product owner? To, to act as that kind of leader who can influence the organization, be a great spokesperson on behalf of doing things differently. How can we support and empower them? You know, is a key uh, piece of this as well. Uh, or even on the team level, um, there's a new certification called the Certified Scrum Professional uh, for Developers. There's the Certified Scrum Developer and then Advanced Certified Scrum Developer. And the new one that one of our guys is working on is really your senior developers and how do they help partner and support this change? And it's about making um, making the way that we work differently, even at the hands-on level. So take a look at that. So I think I feel like there's definitely space for any of those roles to also learn and grow from from Cali as well. I mentioned some of these specific roles on one side. Let's take a look real quick on on let's say the Cal T. Who would go to that class? Change up these colors a little bit. So uh, certainly Cal T. I mentioned the Scrum Masters because they're the ones working with your teams up close. So your Scrum Masters, uh, your product owners are working closely with the teams as well. And managers, you know, certainly engineering managers, uh, QA managers, BA managers, anyone managing the frontline workers of the people that are on those teams, uh, definitely going to get a win and it's intended in part to help work with them in, uh, in, in that way. But also I think anyone on your teams, uh, how, what does it look like to be a better team member as well, team lead certainly. Uh, let's go down to Cal O, uh, which is a, a one that people ask questions on. Anyone that's a transformation leader or change leader, you could say, they're helping but lead this change or part of that um, group. Um, anyone in management um, has a manager role, supervisory role, senior leadership, and we just had a great experience when the senior leader was in there and he's like, this is this is everything we've been trying to figure out on how do we help this agile adoption here and the tools with all his direct reports in the in the course. Super, super helpful for anyone from the management point of view. And what we also see a lot of times is anyone that's a coach, internal or external. And I think that's gonna go back into your scrum masters as well. They're trying to help lead this change. Now, maybe they don't have authority, but they're definitely a strong influence on that change. So I would like to see them go into that. And, and as I mentioned before, more and more for the Cal E, I honestly think, anyone who cares about their growth as a leader, their, anyone who's interested in making a bigger impact in the organization, trying to make a difference, trying to contribute, trying to be the best version of themselves, the Cali is going to be a huge support with that, very eye-opening. So that's a quick view of what's in these classes. 
hopefully that's of some help of what's in the classes and who should come. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.